Softball 360 is brought to you by East Coast Athletics, TPS, by Mike and Sports, and by the Worth Launch 650 Softball. Hey fans, welcome back. You're watching Softball 360. It's the moment we've been waiting for all season long. Six long haul bombers will step up to the plate here in Los Angeles at Dodger Stadium and only one will be champion. Batter up. Each bomber gets 15 swings and is awarded one point for each home run. The top team is awarded the Manufacturer's Cup. The bomber with the most home runs is crowned season champion. The best softball home run hitters on the planet are ready for showtime at legendary Dodger Stadium, a ballpark and an organization rich in tradition, history, and class. It's the finals on the Stadium Power Tour. The slate is wiped clean. There's no money ball today and no tomorrow as winner takes all. Stepping up first is two-time champ Denny Grind from Team Mikan. Denny shows all of Hollywood how far a man can hit a softball. That's no special effect, folks, as DC sends another one into the bleachers to the delight of the SoCal crowd. Denny played for the White Sox and is no stranger to big parts, big crowds, and big blasts. Take a close look at that classic grind swing. That is simply how you do it, folks. Denny ends up with seven points, but is seven enough today? Next up on Championship Sunday is JD Just Dominate Genter from Team TPS. JD made a huge comeback from an injury and earned a spot in the finals the old fashioned way with hard work and hard hits. JD's a master of martial arts and swings like a kung fu warrior. Whoa, jam shot, JD. That one is out of here. JD changes TPS bats and continues the home run seminar. Take note of JD's concentration and follow-up. He makes the most of his compact size and is a role model for all softballers. JD ends up with seven points, tied so far with Denny Crime. Time now for what could be a game changer. The man, the myth, the softball legend, Brett the Hitman Helmer. The vet for Team Easton has all the tools to take the title. Power, technique, and plenty of experience. Oh, get Zooks, Hitman! That blast literally left the building. Brett's a four-time national batting champ, and oh, it shows. The hefty lefty finds his groove, and on the last pitch, Brett sends another one out into the fans in far right field. Helmer also ends up with seven points, and the points battle's looking like rush hour on the LA freeway. Will the other half of Team Easton break up the points log jam? Brian, the ball will be flying Wegman is well known for great technique and starts out with some homers deep into the yard at Dodger Stadium. Is this one gonna be fair or? It's fair! Wiggs is on a roll, making a Hollywood-style impression with his Easton bat. But Wiggs also ends up with, oh, you guessed it, seven points. Who can break the tie? It's gotta be Tim, don't call him Loco Coco. The big man starts off strong and is three for three before you can say show bomb. That's what Tim and his TPS bat are all about. Blasting softballs completely out of Dodger Stadium. That one's out. As if to prove a point, Coco sends another one out of the park. Coco now has seven points, and with this blast, takes the lead with eight. But there's one more big blast left in his TPS bat, and Tim ends his day at the plate with nine points leading the pack, but before Coco can celebrate, he has to wait for the last man standing. Greg Connie Cannell from Team Worth is one of the youngest and strongest on the stadium power tour and gets off on the good foot. Connie is 
fired up and is ready to chase down Coco. Soon, Carney's four for four. Oh, hey, nice catch, pal. Oh, and if you park close to the ballpark, better check the windshield, because Carney's sending him out into the Dodger Stadium parking lot. Check out the swing and hear the thud as he blasts one onto the roof. Another souvenir in the parking lot. Connie has now tied Coco with nine points. And with this mighty swing and homer, Greg Cannell enters the record book as the 2011 champion on the Stadium Power Tour. Greg Cannell, the 2011 Long Haul Bomber Stadium Power Tour winner with 10 big bombs today. How do you feel? I feel good, you know, we travel all year to do this and uh, you never know, you know, with the hitters you've got coming out now, the numbers are getting higher and, you know, there were six great hitters here and it was anybody's for the taking and I just felt really good and in great conditions, you know. We're here with Martin Cloutier from HomeRunMonkey.com presenting the Long Haul Bomber champion with his trophy, Greg Cannell. Go ahead, why don't you uh, give him the trophy there? Season, true champion. Appreciate it, man. Here you go. Now that he's got it in his hands, it does look pretty good. How do you feel about Greg being the winner this year, Martin? Greg's been great all season, and it's only fitting that he come out to the final and, and uh, take it all home. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate everything you've done with this. You know, helping to let us come out and do this. Is, I mean, it's an honor. Every time you get here, I appreciate everything you do. Well, there you have it. Greg Cannell, the big winner today with 10 huge bombs, four going completely out of the park. Congratulations to Team Worth, also Team TPS winning the Manufacturer's Cup. Well, that's all the time we have for this season of Softball 360. Thanks for joining us all year long. We will see you next year. And in the meantime, check out softball360.com. I'm Natalie Kane. Thanks for watching. Yes, we got a fish. Now what? Yep.